I'm Stephanie. I'm Ned Stephens. We normally live and work in Spain, but this area, the Boulder, Colorado area, is our United States home area. He'd been sick for about five days and uh, with a high fever. Other than that, not any of the other ones that, that are being associated with COVID-19, so mainly fever. Took him to the ER on March 30th. They saw he was developing pneumonia, admitted him to the hospital, and then that night had to put him on a ventilator in ICU. I was just continuing to feel worse and worse. I mean, I'm going to guess that the fever was just continuing to go up. I was sedated for 14, 15 days. I received a phone call from the hospital and the doctor uh, asked if I would approve the treatment of convalescent plasma. So he explained to me what it was and then I asked him, I said, what would you do in my situation? And he said, I would, I would give it in a, in a heartbeat to any of my family members. He received it on a Friday um, and he was able to come off the ventilator within, it was within 10 days. So what is convalescent plasma? This concept uses blood from patients who've recovered from COVID-19 and have formed neutralizing antibodies to the virus, giving those antibodies in their plasma to patients battling COVID-19. Blood can be separated using a sterile single-use kit in a procedure called plasmapheresis, where the cellular elements of the blood, red cells, white cells, and platelets can be given back to the donor, while three to five doses of convalescent plasma are retained and can be stored for use in our hospitals. This passive immune therapy helps as a bridge until the patient forms their own antibodies during that specific phase of the immune response. We suspect that individuals early on in their course with relatively severe disease requiring hospitalization for oxygen therapy, if given convalescent plasma of high enough neutralizing antibody titer, these individuals may be the ones most likely to benefit. So I am donating the uh, convalescent plasma um, in the hopes that it's going to um, help people recover from COVID. Can't remember exactly which article, but I've read multiple articles that talked about it. Um, some of the details that jumped out were about the um, knowing that once people did get the convalescent plasma, they um, recovered quickly and were able to leave the hospital. And that um, one, one donation was able to help possibly five people um, is the big reason that I decided to, uh, to donate. When you donate convalescent plasma, the process is a little different than a whole blood donation. It takes a little bit longer because it's an automated process that allows the machine to collect specifically plasma and return the other components back to your body. When you donate convalescent plasma, we ask you to allow about two hours or so for that visit. A time that you could spend watching a movie, that impact on patients is so powerful. Uh, Vitalin is providing convalescent plasma to hospitals as we anticipate more and more patients are going to require that treatment moving forward in the coming weeks and months. To the survivors, donate your blood. Seems like it's something that's a definite benefit to COVID patients. I mean, there's a chance he might not have been here if he hadn't received that. Right. So someone hadn't donated the plasma. Right. We don't know, but there's that's a possibility. Right. So we're grateful. So the virus has been spreading exponentially. Like people are spreading it to more than one person. Um, I think the donors can do the same thing. We can really bring the curve down. There are multiple ways you can help patients. Whether you qualify to donate convalescent plasma to help a COVID-19 patient, or if you are donating whole blood to help meet the needs that arise every day. Or even if you can't donate, you can host a blood drive and make blood donation more convenient for more people. With just a small amount of your time, you are making a life-saving difference. I'm just very thankful for everyone's part in making that possible. To the manufacturing of the machine that gets yes. the plasma. So I uh, just am very thankful and keep up the good work. Everyone, everyone has a key role in the process and we're grateful for all of those people. Yeah.